Hello my fellow students. I'm going to make this video fairly quick since there's not really much to talk about. This is the list of missing topics from the official CISSP CBK or Common Body of Knowledge referenced by Arthur Dean and Aaron Krauss. Number wise it's about the same but as you can see here there's a small disparity between the topics missing from each of these books. In other words there's no consistency between what Mike Chapel covers and what Arthur Dean covers. And yet both of these books have the official label in their titles, and both of these books are endorsed by ISC Squared. But the bigger issue here is not the disparity between the books, but instead it's the disparity between all three books and the common body of knowledge. Anyway, since there's really not a whole lot more to say about this, I'm going to publish this list on our website and provide a link to access that sheet. And if you want to make any comments or edits, just click the Request Access button. Um, but I think anyone can make a comment but I'll share it with whoever would like to edit that. So again, what can you do with this information? Honestly, I don't know. And it pains me to recommend any of these books, and it pains me to recommend the ISC Squared CISSP training seminar because it's so awful. I mean, it's literally just an actor reading lines from the student guide with a few PowerPoint slides added in. So the real question is, will this disparity cause you to fail the exam? And the answer is, I don't know. The best thing for you as students to do is to simply over-prepare for the exam. My group, as I've said before, we used both the student guide by ISC Squared, we used Mike Chappell's book, and we also used Cybrary's MP3s by Kelly Handerhan, which, to be honest, I found to be the most useful. But that was back in the day when everyone was still commuting on a train or a bus to work. So since a lot of us are remote now, maybe you can listen to those MP3s at the gym or on a walk or just make some time during the day to listen to them. So the other thing I always recommend is to use at least two online test banks. Ours is a good one. People say it's the best. So that's what we're going to say until people tell us otherwise. We maintain the site for you, not for us. So with that said, I don't think the rabbit hole ends here. I'm going to keep digging and asking questions to see what I can find. And I'll keep you all posted with updates. I wish you the best of luck in your studies. Take care and have a great day.